Okay, guys, we're inside of Helldivers 2, and things may not be as it seems. There seems to be a bit of a counter-reactive based on what video I put up late last night, so we're going to get into that in a little bit. And although you guys may think that the automatons are done for, I would be surprised. We're going to dive on into some leak territory a little bit today, as well as some overall looks at how it's going to work from you guys in the community. A pretty simple video, but one you should enjoy nonetheless, so if you have haven't already make sure you are smashing that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribing with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor instant gaming the platform for all your favorite games on steam origin Battle.net, Uplay, and indie games for the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, all up to 70% off, and they're completely digital and instant delivery 24-7. They bulk purchase from developers and sell to you guys at a cheaper price. Completely safe and legal, so head down to the description, click on Instant Gaming, and get your games a bit cheaper today. With that being said, though, let's dive on into what we've got going on. And naturally, like every single time I do one of these videos early week, we have just had a new support incoming. They've issued a pack for players that addresses general game stability and crashes. So a very, very simple one going in today. We are going to take a quick look at what it is that they've done. There is a load of crashes that have been fixed allegedly, obviously when deploying into missions, during extractions and right after. If the squad deployed a large amount of support weapons, that's also been rectified. There is if players have died while using the jetpack and when large volumes of enemies were present when completing an objective. And there's also been a few other fixes sorted out as well. This one is a very, very simple one, although there is one gameplay feature that has been changed where they updated the stats UI for weapons to take into account any explosive damage done by them. This is to give weapons that do damage with explosive projectiles a more fair representation in the UI. Most notably affected is the PLAS-1 Scorcher. So, a very simple one, a very small one, but we're here. We're there. We've got a crash fix. Hopefully you guys can now dive on in very nicely without causing any issues to your gameplay. Now let's get on into the bloody video if they've got no more bloody surprises for me. Now starting off, I'm going to absolutely just completely eradicate everything that we said yesterday as I had a bit of a weird situation. Yesterday we announced that obviously there was a new module that had gone live on the ship management system and it wasn't there for me when I got on. Although we have got on today and it seems that we can see there is a movement with it still being on. Although I have now just gone on and it is not there. So... I don't know what's going on, but there's ship modules appearing, reappearing, disappearing, and it's just messing up completely. Do not listen to it too much, although it's not an overly big one. All it was was the steering with the hell pod. Nothing too deep. I wouldn't think too heavily of it right now, but we'll have to see what it is that's coming into the game over the near distant future. This is a bit of a ball ache, but nonetheless, I don't really know what's happening with it. It does seem a bit of a rogue item, so maybe the Baskinator wasn't wrong, but either way, there is definitely some bits and bobs that shouldn't be happening here in the game right now. Anywho, moving on to the Major Order. We have now completed the Major Order, and we are standing by for further orders from Super Earth High Command. So we have done everything that we needed to do for that one. As to what's going to happen next, we'll have to wait and see, but we are now back in to the the week so i'm expecting to see something a little bit more earth shattering and this could be a bit of a concerning one we do have a lot going on with that but we're going to dive on into that in just a second a reddit post that you guys need to see with 6.5 thousand upvotes is one that you guys need to hear about now this states right here psa kicking hell divers instantly because of their level is extremely undemocratic and i couldn't agree more actually the level system is extremely grindy and for those of you you guys who are more casual gamers you may be at a lower point level me myself i edit a lot and i do a lot of research and don't get me twisted i play every single day although probably not as much as all of you guys and i'm at level 40 so take that one into consideration this states right here i am level 29 but I've been doing hell dives exclusively since around 22. My drops are almost entirely successful. For the last few days, I've been getting kicked from over half of my games the moment I joined the lobby. Presumably because most of the players in them are level 50 plus, 
which really excavates the level difference. I don't even get the chance to demonstrate if I'm good or not. Don't assume that a lower level means incompetence. And this is actually solidly true. I think that one of the biggest ways of being able to play the game is via stealth. And a lot of lower level players will jump into the higher level games and stealth it out. Me, myself, I'm a bit of a run and gunner. So I generally tend to stay in my lane. I don't yet go into the hell dives, mainly because I am way too impulsive to be able to do stuff like that just now but make sure that you guys give everybody the opportunity to at least suck at being a hell diver if they don't know that they suck how do you know what you meant to do nonetheless we're going to dive on into some leaked territory right now because the automatons may not be where you think they are and before we get into that we are giving you guys the opportunity to win a copy of hell divers 2 and if you've already got the game then don't panic we're giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits so very simply all you have to do is head down into the comment section and stick a purple heart just because the Illuminate purple is something that I'm expecting to see pretty damn soon. That's just the honest truth. I was expecting to not see them for a while, but now the closer we get to it, I'm not solely convinced. So a purple heart in the comment section will enter you in and we'll do the announcement on the community page and in the Discord of over 10,000 large. You guys are incredible, by the way, if you want to join them, link in the description. And we can dive on into the rest of the video. So there has obviously been some things that we've seen over recent weeks of main sort of like announcements on the Stroman news. The Stroman news obviously announces everything that changes on social media and it appears that the automata are not quite gone yet. We did completely forget about one of these announcements that is in the system and has not yet been played, but this attack occurred as we were nearing a permanent end to conflict with the automatons. Now, it is clear that it can be no peace until every automaton is utterly destroyed. They obviously have been hiding out because they are now going to be vibing into Cyberstan, of which a Hell Divers have become a little bit rattled by it and have begun a counter-offensive operation with the ultimate goal of retaking Cyberstan. Obviously, what this is going to mean is yet to be seen, but early reports indicate that this armada may have been over 10 times larger than all previous encountered automaton forces. This is a little bit disappointing, and I'm not expecting to see that this first end of the week. Although, maybe rolling into next weekend, it could be a large task for us to get done while Arrowhead take their time off. It's going to be an interesting one, guys, but the automatons are not gone quite yet. So enjoy your time on the Terminus sectors while they're still bloody there, because I think that this is going to get a little bit ship shapey. And a Reddit post that actually corroborates alongside this is something that I quite liked the sound of. And as far as the Helldivers lore, it worked really, really well. It states the automatons may have done something far worse than we realize, and it involves the eradicated Illuminate. Let's go back hundreds of years ago to the first galactic multi front war. The Illuminate were allegedly a peaceful society that tried to align themselves with us, but we rejected that offer and initiated a war. We never saw it during the first war, but theoretically what would prevent them from aligning with our enemies against us. They've already been observed trying to make truces for the accomplishment of a common goal. So if the automatons presented them with a real chance to defeat us, we already have the president to show that they would likely take that. We've had reports of unknown combatants taking shots at Hell Divers using what appears to be an Illuminate weaponry, but this it has happened on both the bug and bot fronts, meaning this faction is somewhat neutral towards both sides. We have yet to identify the source of these attacks, so we can only assume the source is still planet side in all reported incidences. So, so far, it looks a little bit sketchy and the Illuminates seem to be rolling on in, which is why I reckon we're going to be seeing them a little sooner than we hope that we would. The Cyberstan attack could be the big forefront push coming from the automatons and the illuminates but we go on to read so where's the speculation coming from it's in truth relating to a very concerning line from one of our recent major orders it states that we had intercepted an automaton's message that strangely enough was transmitting to unknown message outside the known galaxy this was never elaborated upon or dawn attention to 
but it can only mean two things, neither of which are good for us. It can either mean that they have posts set up outside our grasp and will thus eventually return, or it can mean that they've been contacting an unknown third party despite claims that the Illuminates have entirely ceased to exist. We only ever banish them out of our galaxy, meaning that they still are out there. What if they automatons were contacting them, advising them that now is the best time to remerge and launch an attack due to us being spread so thin and these mysterious sniper shots are simply illuminate scouts confirming the information received by the automatons we need to be incredibly wary about news surrounding the intentions of the automatons therefore the time for being down but they are without a doubt not yet out liberty protect us 7.3 thousand upvotes from you guys on that one and it seems like a very strong output this one rolls up from hell divers one law to hell divers two law and so on and so forth and it seems to make a solid amount of sense which is extremely concerning but i want to know your guys opinions via the comment section below what are you expecting the next few weeks to hold as far as the galactic war goes do you think it's as easy as this is looking because i definitely do not thanks again for watching guys that's unfortunately we've got time for today if you haven't already like subscribe and i'll see you in the clouds